Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel DIY Repairs. Today we are going to repair this electronic blast used in RO water purifiers. People who are using RO water purifier will be well familiar with this electronic blast. It has a microcontroller embedded in it which activates the filter change alarm after 700 hours of use and the alarm or beep sounds for 30 seconds after every 2 hours. If the blast is not reset within the 60 hours after the alarm is activated, the alarm or beep sounds continuously and the machine stops. You can watch the video of how to reset the blast by clicking on the link given in the description box. Apart from this, there is also a driver for the UV lamp in this electronic blast. If the UV lamp fails, then also the beep sound is heard. This time the beep sound will come two times in every two seconds. Another function of this blast is that it turns the machine on or off by taking signals from pressure switch and float switch. If the water pressure coming into the machine is low, the machine will not run. And if the water storage tank is full, which is sensed by the float switch, then also the machine will not run. Let's open the electronic blast and see what's in it. This is a circuit board of the electronic blast. The four pins here connect to the UV lamp. By keeping these four pins on our right side, we can understand the connection of the seven pins on the other side. The first pin from the bottom is supplied with positive 24 volt and the second pin with negative 24 volt which comes from a 24 volt SMPS. The third and fourth pins are for auto flush. We will talk about auto flush in the next video. The fifth and last pin is connected to the booster pump and its parallel solenoid valve. The 6 pin is connected to the float switch and the pressure switch connected in series with it. The 1st and 5th pins are connected together. This means that the positive 24 volt are supplied directly to the booster pump and solenoid valve and the negative 24 volts are supplied from this MOSFET. Only when 24 volt is received from the float switch at pin number 6, the MOSFET turns on and the booster pump runs. This is a 7805 regulator IC which converts 24 volt to 5 volt and supplies power to this microcontroller. This entire section is the driver section of the UV lamp. Here if this dual color LED does not light red after providing 24 volt power then check this fuse and 7805 regulator IC. If 24 volt are found on this pin of 7805 regulator IC and 5 volt are not found on this pin then replace the 7805 regulator IC. By applying 24 volt to this pin, the LED should light green and the UV lamp and booster pump should run. If the LED is green and the booster pump is not running, then check this MOSFET. If the MOSFET is fine but the booster pump is not running, then check the booster pump. If the LED is green and the UV lamp is not lit and the sound of the beep is coming, then check the UV lamp and these two MOSFET. If the UV lamp and both the MOSFET are fine, then this microcontroller is faulty. This is the reset switch. After 700 hours of use, this electronic blast activates the filter change alarm. By pressing and holding this reset switch for a while, 
the electronic blast gets reset and gets ready for the next 700 hours of use. If the blast is not resetting even after keeping the switch pressed, then check the switch. If the switch is fine but the electronic blast is not resetting, then the microcontroller is faulty. In 95% of the cases, the microcontroller itself is faulty. In case of microcontroller failure, there are only two options left. Either replace the electronic blast with a new one or bypass it. You can watch the video of how to bypass electronic blast by clicking on the link given in the description box. The only problem with bypassing is that the UV lamp does not light up. So let us make a small circuit and use it in place of the microcontroller to light the UV lamp. This is the circuit diagram of 24 volt UV lamp driver made from CD4047IC and some components of electronic blast of water purifier. Here IC CD4047 is used as an A-stable multi vibrator whose frequency is determined by these components capacitor C, resistance R and potentiometer P. There is some limitation for choosing the value of R, P and C. R and P together must not be less than 10 kilo ohm and more than 1 mega ohm. Also C should not be less than 100 picofarad. The frequency is obtained from pin number 10 and 11 of this A stable multi vibrator. The formula to get the frequency is 1 divided by 8.8 .8 times the sum of R and P times C. Its duty cycle is 50%. The operating frequency of UV lamp is 33 kHz and duty cycle is 50% approximately. You can see here in a multimeter that measures frequency. We have taken capacitor C as 0.1 nanofarad, resistance R as 10 kilo ohm and potentiometer P as 100 kilo ohm. By changing the potentiometer from 0 to 100 kilo ohm, we get the output frequency from pin number 10 and 11 of IC CD4047 from 10 kHz to 113 kHz. Pin number 4, 5, 6 and 14 of IC CD4047 get 5V from this 7805 regulator IC which converts 24V coming from SMPS to 5V. Pin number 7, 8, 9 and 12 is grounded. The frequency coming out from the pin number 10 and 11 of this IC is fed to the driver transistor BC547 through, through a 1 kilo ohm register. The output from this driver transistor is fed to the gate of the N channel MOSFET IRFZ44N through a resistance of 220 ohms. The output of both the MOSFETs are connected to a step up transformer and the center tap of the transformer is supplied with 24 volt through a 1 ohm 2 watt register. This 5.6 nanofarad capacitor and 10 ohm 2 watt register form an RC snubber circuit that protects the MOSFET from high voltage and high current spikes generated by the back EMF of this transformer. The output of this transformer is connected to the UV lamp through this choke coil. We will be using this part of the circuit of electronic blast in our circuit. Now let's assemble all the components according to the circuit on the general purpose PCB.
Since the MOSFET will get hot during operation, so put a heat sink in it. Instead of connecting wires at the drain here, we will connect wires to the heat sink. Let's test this circuit by replacing the microcontroller with this circuit in the electronic blast. Before connecting the circuit to the blast, remove both these MOSFET as well as the 5V supply given to the microcontroller. Through this wire, 5 volt supply has been given to this microcontroller. Let us give 5 volt to the circuit from here. Connect these two wires coming from the drain of this MOSFET to the drain of this MOSFET here. Connect this wire after this resistance to supply 24 volt. Let us now connect the UV lamp and give 24 volt supply to the blast. Keep this preset at 0 so that the frequency is around 113 kHz. Then gradually increase the preset. The UV lamp will light up when the frequency approaches 35 kHz. You can see the UV lamp starts glowing. Put double sided tape below this circuit and stick it on the board so that it does not sort with the component of the blast. That's it for today's video. In next video we will see how to install this repaired blast in our water purifier. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.